More than 145,000 new infections in just the past 24 hours. And take a look at this tonight. The community level spread map, a growing number of counties in the northeast now moving back into the high risk level. Here's ABC's Witt Johnson tonight. Tonight, new COVID cases in the U.S. tripling over the last six weeks. The country reporting more than 145,000 new infections in just 24 hours, the highest daily total since mid-February, with that growing number of counties in the Northeast now at high risk. This pandemic is not over, and if we bring down our guard and not do the things we need to do, we can get ourselves into the same trouble we were several months ago. The White House warning without more funding from Congress, Americans won't have access to the next generation of vaccines needed to fight newer variants. We're going to run out of treatments. We're going to run out of testing. And so whatever infections we see this fall and winter, we're going to have to deal with that with none of these traditional tools with us. Uh, it's, it's going to be a mess. Health experts point to the risk of waning immunity, especially among people who haven't been boosted and who are more than a year out from their initial vaccine doses. It comes as a growing proportion of COVID deaths are from breakthrough infections. There are vaccinated people who get infected, some of whom go on to severe disease and death. Those are very heavily weighted towards the elderly and those with underlying conditions. But health experts insist vaccines dramatically reduce the risk of hospitalization and death. And while they're urging Americans to get their booster shots, half of those who are eligible, about 92 million people, still haven't gotten their first booster dose. David. All right, Whit Johnson, we'll see you here this weekend, Whit. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.